The benefit is that it's very lightweight and compared to other solutions it's very flexible. So you don't have only a single uh, installation, like a single version of PHP and a single version of MySQL, you have all the options available. So it's very easy to switch versions in PHP especially. The classical solutions like MUMP is um, I mean, the benefit of the, the other solutions is they are very easy to start with. So, for example, with MUMP, you just download something, install it on your Mac or Windows PC, and then you're good to go. With Docker, the setup is a bit more complex, but then you have all the flexibility, as I mentioned, with the different versions. In, in the classical solutions like MUMP, you have like one version of PHP and one web server, and with Docker, you can have like an Apache web server, an Nginx web server, so it's more flexible. There's a term called cowboy coding, which I can not uh, encourage people to do. So that's coding on a live website um, or even coding in a, on a local server in your company. That's also a good idea. So you always should develop locally, but having it really local on your machine, you're more flexible. For example, I'm here at the WordCamp right now. So I just have my laptop with me and I can code on any of the projects. I don't have to rely to have a VPN connection to the office to connect to the development server in the office. I can even code when I'm on a plane or on a train where I don't have any internet connection. So having a local development environment is crucial to, uh, to be flexible in developing. I would say the challenge is to get the first setup correct. So, for example, with Windows and uh, Mac, you have to install something. This will install a virtual machine and then you have all the issues with virtual machines like mounting uh, folders. There come some performance issues sometimes when you do it uh, wrong. But once you get used to Docker and once you're familiar with the uh, infrastructure and how it works, it's really very flexible. So I would say the, the first steps are a bit harder to, to manage, but then once you know it, then it's really really amazing and whenever you need something new for example you need an elastic search or something in the project you just write two lines in your configuration file and it's there so it's, it's really easy.